Have you seen the new dustbins that have been placed in the park? There are three very big ones. One is labeled glass, the second paper, and the third plastic. No, I haven't seen them. What are they for? My mom bought me some biscuits. And when I went to throw the packet away, I found these dustbins. I wonder if this has something to do with what we saw in class. What was your homework for today? We had to observe the type of rubbish we throw away at home. And what have you found out? At home, we throw away food leftovers, useless paper, plastic bottles, and some glass items. Very well. Then, could anybody tell me what do we mean by rubbish? Everything that is useless and that we want to take out of our homes. Of course. Now, imagine that you can take the rubbish out of your homes. What could you do to prevent rubbish from piling up and decomposing? My mom's got two dustbins. She puts what's left from salads, eggshells and the like in one of them. And when there's enough rubbish in it, she buries all that in a flower pot where she's got worms. Why does she do so? Because worms feed on this waste and then they turn it into a type of soil which is very rich for the plants. Very well. The process you're telling us is called recycling, which means turning something useless into something somehow useful again. Rubbish is a huge problem in our cities. If we stop to think, millions of families live in a city and so the amount of daily waste is huge and starts to pile up in different places. That's why it's so important to reuse part of such waste. By doing so, the amount of rubbish will be reduced. For example, plastic or glass items can be melted again and used to produce new items. Paper may be collected and after undergoing a certain process, more paper may be produced. Then, if all of us recycled our waste, we'd be contributing to taking care of our environment. That's right. I like recycling, and I'm really keen on it. And so, what can I do then? You can separate the rubbish before throwing it away, because it's not the same to recycle food as to recycle plastic or glass, like the dustbins in the park. Now I understand why one was labeled glass, the other plastic, and the third one paper. That's the first step in recycling, to classify the waste. Now I remember that each of those dustbins had a symbol. What symbol? Three arrows making a circle. It's very clear. That's the recycling symbol. Yes, we use it and reuse it, like a cycle. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!